February 12, 2013, the U.S. Navy and Missile Defense Agency achieved another successful intercept of a ballistic missile target from the sea, further validating the deployed Aegis ballistic missile defense engagement capability and providing the concept of the ballistic missile defense system integration with sensors from the commons of space. Flight Test Mission 20 was a recent sea-based ballistic missile defense campaign validating the performance of the second-generation Aegis BMD system and standard Missile 3 Block 1A against an Aegis Readiness Assessment Vehicle B target, or ARAV-B, a unitary medium-range ballistic missile target. The Aegis BMD system incorporates an advanced BMD signal processor along with upgraded BMD 4.0.2 chipboard computer programs. Based on operational intelligence, the combatant commander positioned the USS Lake Erie for ballistic missile defense, supported by target data from the Space Tracking and Surveillance System, or STSS, transmitted via the Command and Control Battle Management and Communications, C2BMC. The STSS was assigned a search fence to guard against a potential ballistic missile launch. Information from the STSS was transmitted to C2BMC to command headquarters and the USS Lake Erie. The USS Lake Erie was positioned over 250 nautical miles from the target launch point. Based on direction from the combatant command, the crew had configured the Aegis combat system to conduct ballistic missile defense supported by data from the STSS. The medium-range ballistic missile target, the ARAV-B, was launched from the Pacific Missile Range Facility on the island of Kauai. As the target rose above the horizon, the STSS acquired the target and placed it in track. Necessary track information was forwarded to the USS Lake Erie via C2BMC. When the track data was received from C2BMC, the weapon system developed a fire control solution using remote engagement's authorized firing policy. This allows launch of the SM-3 prior to target acquisition by the SPY-1 radar, providing increased BMDS capability. Minutes after target launch, the ship's crew fired the SM-3 Block 1A. The missile completed booster burn and separation, followed by second stage rocket motor burn and separation. During this stage of flight, the Aegis weapon system uplinked guidance commands to the SM-3 an airborne camera tracked the missile throughout most of its flight. After second stage separation, the third stage rocket motor ignited, propelling the SM-3 up, out of the atmosphere, and into space. One of the key features of Aegis BMD that enables operational flexibility is the third stage rocket motor. The two separate pulses and separate attitude control systems provide several operational sequences that allowed the Aegis weapon system to control intercept conditions. In FTM-20, the system used the sequence term burn, burn, ditch. In this sequence, after the first pulse of the third stage burned out, the missile coasts for a brief period, then ignites the second pulse. After second pulse burnout, the missile pitched over and ejected the nose cone, exposing the standard Missile 3 Block 1A kinetic warhead. Then the missile pitched back toward the target vehicle. While coasting, the Aegis weapon system continues to refine the target track and update the standard Missile 3 Block 1A with the latest data. While attached to the third stage, the kinetic warhead initializes and begins searching for the target. The infrared seeker acquires the target. This allows the KW to immediately begin divert once ejected. About 30 seconds prior to intercept, the kinetic warhead is ejected from the third stage. The solid divert and attitude control system ignites, stabilizes the kinetic warhead, and immediately diverts to a collision course with the target. The target image grows in the field of view. Mark India, another direct hit. The energy from the impact is calculated to be in excess of 125 megajoules the equivalent of a 10-ton truck traveling over 600 miles per hour. Once again, Aegis BMD demonstrated the system's ability to acquire, track, and intercept a medium-range ballistic missile.
numerous ground, sea, and air-based sensors observe the intercept. Another successful intercept for the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Program, which further validates the deployed Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense engagement capability. The U.S. Navy and Missile Defense Agency are continuing to improve and deploy the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System. The success of FTM-20 shows that MDA and Aegis BMD are on course to fulfill the commitments of the phased adaptive approach. We deliver Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense on target and forward deployed.